my name is Bellas. I hope you had a great 2021. Um, bye. <laughs>to my plus channel channel I am Leanne small town stitches and this is video 60 this is my first floss tube video of 2021 as well so pull up a chair grab some stitching something to drink cook your dinner I don't know <laughs> whatever you're doing the lighting will be a little bit off in this video my ring light for some reason is not working so I don't know why it's about a month old so um yeah so I hope everyone is doing well we made it to 2021 um, how is everyone really I have had an influx of subscribers I don't know where that came from so I want to say welcome to everybody I hope you enjoy being here and hanging out with me and to all my subscribers coming back thank you like this means a lot to me so thank you so much um, life here has been absolutely a nut house lately. So work has been draining <sighs> in more ways than one. Um, my work decided we are going to do a drive through COVID clinic for hospice palliative and, um, home care patients that can actually get out of their house in a ride or whatever. They'll stay in their car, they'll do their consents, we'll watch them for 15, 20 minutes and then they can go and then they'll come back for their second round. So um, that's been a madhouse that was announced on Thursday but we couldn't do anything or call anybody because it wasn't finalized. Um, they rolled that out third or Friday, we, they said we could start calling people at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I leave at 4.30. So it was an absolute madhouse to try and start calling these people because I had Monday, Tuesday, I have our incompetencies um, on Wednesday and it's 92 on Thursday and I get to stay outside. So hopefully it's decent weather because I told my boss either that or this girl's showing up in her muck boots and wearing them the whole entire time. So, um, yes. Thankfully, my manager decided to help with phone calls. We had um, a couple volunteers help. So by the time I left for work at 4.30, we had divided the list. Um, so we have about 500 palliative patients. We divided that into like everyone within a 30 mile radius to try this out. And we had most of the phone calls done, thankfully. A lot of our patients can't get out of their homes. So they are looking at doing them in home for these patients eventually. Um, but that hasn't been finalized yet. So my car is also down again. That happened last Sunday. Um, yeah, so it hasn't been that bad this past week because I just took my husband's truck to work and then um, Friday he just dropped me off and picked me up. But this coming week, my daughter starts back to in-person school, which her and my husband are more than thrilled about. And uh, my daughter's school and I have to be at work at the same time. So we're not sure how this is gonna work. So such as my life lately. Um, other than that, um, let's see. Husband's been super busy. He just rebuilt someone's turbo on their diesel truck this past week after every day after I got home from work. Um, he's been doing lots of small motor work for um, snowmobiles, which I don't know why. We have no snow in Michigan. I have mud and grass. So, um, he also has a couple motorcycles that are going to be coming to him. So he's been pretty steady. Um, daughter has been sick. She does not have COVID. Um, it's just an upper respiratory infection that she seems to get every year. She went to the doctor Friday. Um, so that's why we know she doesn't have COVID. Um, and uh, got her antibiotic and it's already kicking in a little bit. So we always try at home first to kick things um, and then we go to the doctor if we need to. So yeah, that's about my life in a nutshell. Car's broken down, work's insane, kids going back to school, she was sick, husband's been super busy, it's just been crazy here. So yes. I have been also trying to drink way more water than normal. Um, my gut feels great. Not today, because I drank way more water. I actually drank so much water today, I have an upset stomach. Hence, something to calm it. So, yeah. 
So let's talk some stitching. So I have my planner that we are officially using. This is the, I use a happy planner. I do need to get some bigger rings, um, but this is the 24 hour cross stitch planner that is done by Jen Lee from Corks and Stitches. It is available on her Etsy shop. I will link that below. Um, I love it. I did all her cross sticks last year that were free. Um, yeah. Speaking of, I do not have it. I actually, I will look it up. Hold whip, hold one second. So I have my final stitch count from 2020. As you know, I keep track of every single stitch on every single project I do. You ready? For 2020, I did 107, or 73,823 stitches. <laughs> I can't believe it. I did all the math um, and it's really cool when you look at it that way and tracking stitches or time to see how much time you did. So anyway, we have our January acrostic right here. She's doing two different ones this year. Um, so there are 13 spots on the acrostic. Mine has adjusted as we've gone along this month. So, so far I have done one, two, three, four, five, six six acrostics um one of them has been the same project though I, get, I doubled it and the project i'm working on right now and have been for the last week is a hush hush piece uh for everybody because the person it is for watches this channel as well so i can't show that to you i've done already 1200 stitches on it though so let's talk i have a finish a project close to a finish, a new start, two new starts. Let's just, let's chat. How about that? So the acrostic for my 24 hours of cross stitch that I'm doing is serial starts. Um, I got to show you my first thing because I'm super, super proud of this. It has gotten so, so much love on my Instagram. Um, do you want to see the linen and threads 2020 sampler what is done it's done 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 i just gotta get a frame and frame this so here is my linen and threads 2020 sampler it looks so amazing i'm so proud of this um I did choose to leave off the little motifs. Uh, I've seen a lot of people do them there on the corner of this and it looks fantastic, but for some reason it just looked too crowded to me. So I chose to leave them out. So that is the giant. They had stuff in the corner, but I just didn't look how, like how close it was to this. So I chose to leave mine out and I am done, 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 done. So I'm super, super excited. Um, 99% sure that this piece will be going with me to work and I probably will just frame it and hang it and display it in my office. So love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. I have a finish. This is my first finish of 2021. So I've had a lot of people ask me if I'm doing the 20, not 2021 linen and threads, um, piece and I don't know. So excuse me. I decided I was going to join the 2020 sampler after January was released last time because that's kind of how I got a gist that it was going to be a Quaker style um, and like the, my kind of Quaker style. But the 2021 um, lemon thread sampler so far is just a outline border and it's just kind of, I don't know, I can't see how it's going to be yet. So. Um, I'm going to look at February, see how that is going to be. But as of right now, I'm, I'm not feeling it, but we'll have to see. Okay. So that piece actually to finish it got uh, 846 stitches and then it was done. So next I decided to work on ink circles. Ink circles is my piece that, um, got two slots. It got slotted for 480 stitches a piece. So I did, let's see, I did that, whatever, I did it, it fit two acrostics. So I'm going to insert a picture of where this piece was last time you guys saw it. 
Um, this is my piece that is stitched on a iced dyed fabric from To Die For Fabrics that is not named. It was just a random grab with DMC 550. So here we are now. I am so close to being done with this. I think I'm going to make a focus piece for this next month. I'm going to try to do two more cross sticks on it of 480 and see if we can finish this off. Um, this is a pretty large motif to fill in. That is a giant motif to fill in. And then I have whatever's left over here. But I have done so much work on this this month. I am loving it and I'm stoked. So I can't wait for this one to be done. Hopefully here soon I'll have a bunch of projects fil filmed, framed, and I can have a different background possibly of framed pieces in the background. I still have to frame my Halloween Quaker. <laughs> Whoops. So, yes. So that is where that piece is. On New Year's Day, I had a new start which is the Realm of Middle Earth by Tilton and Crafts. Just a tapestry size. I love full coverage. Full coverage is one of my favorite things to do and I'm really having, I'm really struggling with this one. Um, I don't know if it's because I have a stand I was using it on because there's so much fabric and I have never really stitched with a stand before. I don't know if it's 25 count because I, tend to stay between 18 and 20 um but I'm struggling with this piece and it's kind of killing my love for it a little bit um so much so that I kind of put full coverage away instead of jumping straight to my husband's piece and I don't like that so I did my first row though there is no before picture because this was a new year new start but this is where <laughs> I can't even really tell it's the the border of the piece up there so that is one page widthwise one line which is uh 702 stitches yep look at this fabric this is all the fabric for this piece it's so big i really want to do it um i my goal was slotted to do two rows but after a row and really pushing myself to do a row um, I put it away for a little bit. I figured if I get it back out later this month, amazing, cool. But if not, I would rather have it take really long and be draped over my casket as, than kill my love for it. So it is that piece. I am very much so looking forward to getting that out. Hopefully, hopefully. Um, it's stitched one over one on 25 count. I told you guys I was going to do tent stitching on that and that derailed pretty quickly after 80 stitches because my brain could not figure out to only do half the leg of the stitch. I kept wanting to cross so I just gave up and just started doing one over one full cross. Next I have my ornaments by Shannon Christine. I will insert a picture of what this was last time. Um... I did 485 stitches on this and here we are now it was all done on this one I got quite a bit of work done um definitely not finished but I'm loving it's so pretty so so pretty um this is all with petite one strain of petite treasure braid for all my gold so yeah I'm really liking those We'll see how many I get by Christmas this year. I will probably do like a focus piece each month. Maybe slot one of my pieces two time or for two acrostics like I did ink circles this month. Um, then next maybe it will be Monster March or something. Who knows? I have the itch to start a lot of new projects as I've said I've started two. The other one is a new start and it is Loved by you by um, Liz Matthews. I'm going to insert a picture of what this looks like when it's done. I have done um, 530 stitches on it. I love it. It's monochromatic and you know me in monochromatic. I love some monochromatic stuff. So I started at the bottom which I don't normally do but I just I did for this piece because I want to see how I'm going to frame this. 
So I am stitching this with uh, Midnight Teal by um, Victorian Motto on Gray Tan 2, the number 2, by uh, To Die For Fabrics. And this is where I am. Bye you. I got the last, the last one done. But my goal was to try to get this a row done. So um yeah this will be a surprise for my husband gray of course because our bedroom is gray you saw the one piece i did this will be bigger than an 8 by 10 so i don't know i thought it'd be cool to put one on one side of the window one on the other but they won't match uh frame size wise but right now i don't even know if i care so love it love it love it love it oh and if you would like to tiff in stitches, Tiffany and I are doing the Liz Matthews sale. It's the Liz Matthews 2021 sale, I believe, that we're using on Instagram. There is no particular piece that you have to use as long as it's Liz Matthews. Um, and Liz knows that we are doing this too. So she follows Tiffany on um, Instagram. So if you are interested, please join us. I think right now it's just Tiffany and I, which is totally cool too. Um, so yeah, just use Liz Matthews 2021 sale. SAL on Instagram. That is all five of my pieces that I have done so far in the first 15 days. Now remember, I've done over 1,200. That just fell. I've done over 1,200 stitches on another project, but that is a secret. The only other person who knows about that right now. Well, there's two. Susanna knows about it and Heather, the blessed stitcher, knows about it. It's going to be in the DL. So let us talk some crochet. Um, I have been bit by the crochet book. I have finished since 2021 three dishcloths. And started another project. My daughter's yarn for her cowl should be here any day. Uh, I still haven't sewn mine together. I probably should do that because if I'm gonna be standing outside all next Thursday, I may want that. So I have a piece that I didn't write down. I will list. I have linked this dishcloth before. Neither of these have been wet before. They have not been blocked. They're dishcloths. So this is the first one I've made. They stitch up really fast so I'm really liking it so far and then so I did that one I have another one of these right now um, that I'm working on I haven't worked on it in a little while because I'll show you um, and it's about halfway done and then I have done two of these ones so this is done by the same company uh, this is their striped collection this is their normal this stuff is great. The, the regular is really great for a uh, kitchen, really, because it's really heavy duty. This stuff, which is their striped, um, is really soft. As you can tell, like it just it just flows a little. See, it just flows a little bit better. This one I would actually use in the shower. Like it's it's a really soft, good washcloth. This one, I this brand, they're normal. I think it's sugar and cream peaches and cream maybe I would not use this on my body the striped one is uh, seems to be different and I would so those are the three that I have done so far now what have I been working on what's on my hook right now I'm gonna insert a picture of this I've talked about it is the Uga uh, cardigan I think it's by Moo Mooley I don't remember I'll insert a picture of this um, so I am working on the body of it right now. I have done, how many rows have I done? 15, I want to say so far. Um, and you have to do 40 and then I have to do the next step. So I've used one eight ounce skein so far. I'm on my second and this is where it's at. Actually, let's show those sides. The back side, I got to weave in an end right there. So here's where we're at. And it is the softest thing I've ever felt in my life. It's so soft. Like 
I could do a blanket out of this. Um, so yeah, it's really easy to work with. It's not as bad as I thought. It's, you can see it's very fuzzy. Um, I don't remember how many I had to chain that was in the pattern, but I am on row. I just finished row 15. I have to do 40 and then I think you fold it in half and do something and I don't know. I'm just working on my rows right now. It's all, this is all double cross stitch. Double cross stitch. <laughs> double stitch. Uh, double crochet. Um, the dishcloth alternates between a half double, I think, and a single. I'm not sure. I will link that pattern below. That is not folded really well. So those are the crochet projects that I have been working on like crazy. I love the crochet because when my mind needs a break from stitching and from looking at that stuff, I can just work on it without paying attention. So, um, haul, I don't have much. So I ordered the yarn of the month from Treehouse Knits, which is who I did this one from for my December colorway. house knits I did their this is a fingering this is an 80 20 I did their um, January but I did it in a worsted here's my idea I thought it would be cool to do a blanket of the different colorways for 2021 maybe I'm dumb I don't know I'm, I think it's gonna happen and then through I want to say it's bumblebee yarns I'm not sure I'll link them below I'll link treehouse knits too they're doing a Lord of the Rings one and a, um was it Harry Potter too I think they're doing two different year-long ones and I didn't do the I, you just buy them individually every single month I bought January's uh for Lord of the Rings and I bought Harry Potter's I'm pretty sure it's Harry Potter um so yes I bought both of those in a worsted as well because I'm thinking a Lord of the Rings blanket and a Harry Potter one possibly. I like doing blankets just because it's just fun. So, and because you don't know what you're getting for mystery like of the month. So you can't be like, oh, you can order more than one though. So like you can be like, hmm, I want a sweater quantity this month of February's Lord of the Rings or whatever. So yes. Want to see the coolest thing I've bought so far though. I had this custom done on Etsy. I'm super stoked. Let me see. Or introverted but willing to discuss cross stitch. <laughs> yep. I want one that says yarn now or something. R yarn fibers or I don't know how I want to word it but yes that is a thing. I'm so stoked. One last purchase this month. I found it to die for fabrics. I've talked about this a bunch. They actually have a couple um, that you can do. I think it's on their pre. They have ones that are done and ones you can pre-order up right now. And there's a couple neutrals that I am in love with. And I think that needs to happen. This is um, the color Dust Bunnies. It's an 18 count. Um, 18 by 29. And it's beautiful. Like, if you've never done stuff through Kathy before, she's great. I love her stuff. This is a Charles Craft piece. There's other ones, but look at that modeling. I think she did fabulous. I want another piece. What I'm going to use it for, I don't know, but you know me. I like my neutral backgrounds. So she's got a couple browns, grays, and then, of course, more vibrant colors. But I tend to go towards the neutrals. I'm still waiting on all my stuff from Victorian Motto. They're way behind right now. I know Kathy's had a lot of issues, but I'm really trying to be patient. I have August, September, October, November. I skipped January because I was ticked. I did, or I skipped December because I was ticked. I did January. I have five months of fabric and three months of floss right now that I'm missing. So, um, I'm really trying to be understanding. I know fabric's been really hard to get. But it's really frustrating when you're watching everyone else open their floss of the month and your fabric of the month from them and they keep giving you the same answer telling you to ship it out and he hasn't done it because I did the math. That's a lot of money that I've spent through them. And I love Victorian model floss. So I'm really trying to be 
understanding, but I'm getting a little annoyed. So last thing I was gifted a gift by Susanna, um, Rosie, she, rebuilding Rosie. She changed her channel name and I keep wanting to say her old one. Um, it was her Christmas present and she just dropped it off to me today and I love it. It has to be hung in my cross stitch craft area room. I don't really cross stitch in here enough. If it was on the first floor, I'd probably be living in this room, but I feel bad when I come upstairs because everybody else is downstairs. Isn't this freaking awesome? In case of emergency, break glass. I am so excited to hang this in my craft area. I think she did amazing. Um, so thank you so much, Susanna. This is, this is awesome. So that's it. That's all from me. Um, hopefully we'll be back in two weeks for another floss tube update. That's what I'm shooting for. Um, and then I'm really hoping to do that planner video and get that up for you guys next Saturday, if that is what you were interested in. So I am going to go ahead and get off here, put all this stuff away and splice this together for you. So remember your mental health is important. Um, just like everyone else's. So to take time for yourself in any form each and every day. So until next time, take care of yourself, take care of others, and I'll see you later.